from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Are you high? What? No, I'm not high. Man. You are high as a kite. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Us 101. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. This is a safe place. It's a place where we can feel free sharing our feelings. Think of my office as a nest and a tree of trust and understanding. It's okay, honey. That's why we came. I, I guess I, deep down I'm, I'm feeling a little confused. I mean, suddenly you get married and you're supposed to be this entirely different guy. I don't, I don't, I don't feel different. I, I mean, take, take yesterday, for example. We were, we were out at the Olive Garden, which was lovely. And... Uh, I have to look over at a certain point during the meal and see a, a waitress taking an order, and uh, and I find myself wondering uh, what color her underpants might be, her panties. Odds are they're probably basic white cotton, but I, I started thinking, well, maybe they're maybe they're silk panties. Maybe it's a thong. Maybe it's something really cool that I don't even know about, you know. And uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that that now that I'm married, I, I'm definitely feeling a little freaked out about the fact that I'm going to have sex with only one person for the rest of my life. I, I started feeling as if... What? What, I thought we were in the trust tree with, in the nest, are we not? It's like it's 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Vegas 101. As we uh, head towards the end of the summer semester, students, it is time for me to remind you that uh, you've got to sharpen your game. We've got a new semester of university coming up if you're going to college. When summer school is over, this is one of your summer school classes, of course. When summer school is over, you'll be heading to campus for the first time, or you'll be heading back there. And your game has to be sharper than ever. As your professor, let me give you some reminders about going to college. These are important. Number one, when you go to college, you're going to have access to the youngest, hottest, legal group of females you'll ever have for the rest of your life. The most chicks. The most colors, the most flavors from the most countries you'll ever see again. It's the biggest selection. They have all left home. What goes on the road stays on the road. When a woman leaves her zip code, anything goes. Might as well call her new zip code her unzip code. You know what I'm saying? Don't be an idiot. If you have a high school girlfriend, now's the time to dump her ass. When you get to college, do not become an item with the first person you have sex with. A common error made by boys like you. Common. Your goal is to have sex with as many of these broads as you can. 
and to develop absolutely no emotional connections to them whatsoever. College is the biggest hookup you'll ever have in your life. Don't blow it. There are no long-distance relationships. There are no high school sweethearts. There are no college sweethearts. There are only vagina after vagina after vagina. That's all there is. That's college. I imagine you boys arriving on campus, going to a kegger. Yes, I know. The drinking age is 21 and nobody's supposed to be drinking on campus. Blah, blah, blah. By the way, drink responsibly. Yes, and often. <laughs> yes, the professor of Like Is 101 wants you to drink responsibly. That means when you're binge drinking, don't drive home afterwards. <laughs> but most importantly, boys, so many of you make this mistake. You meet one girl in the library or in the Rathskeller, or wherever you meet them. And she talks nicely to you, and you've never had a girl talk nicely to you, and suddenly, bam, she's your girlfriend. And you just love telling everybody how you went to college, and now you've got a girlfriend. Don't do that. Don't blow the biggest variety of female activity you will ever experience for the rest of your life. You will never have such close proximity to so many broads again. Young, sweet, hot, many innocent, many from far away, many with their parents 150 miles away and nobody to see what bad things they're going to do that they're going to regret the rest of their lives. And let me tell you something, boys. When a girl does something she's going to regret for the rest of her life, you want to be the cause of that. Oh, yes. You want to send as many women on the walk of shame as you can. Don't screw this thing up. A high school sweetheart is just that, a high school sweetheart, and it's the stupidest damn thing. You're not a little boy anymore. If you have a relationship with someone in high school, cut it off today. No promising to write to each other, no promising to see each other on holidays or to keep running back home or to try to get her to come to your dorm room. Stop it. Stop it. Don't let her mess up any action that might come in there for you in the future. No long-distance relationships, no high school sweethearts, and no getting into relationships in college. Don't ruin a good thing. Your parents paid for you to go to college. Here's your opportunity to get laid by one chick after another. Don't screw it up by being committed to one person. I, I, it's the most important thing I can tell you. As you're on the cusp of a new semester at your university... Don't screw it up. Bang as many chicks as you can. Make lists. Rate them by one to five stars. I mean, if you want to go back at Thanksgiving time and bang your former high school girlfriend, go ahead and bang her. But don't be making any promises. Don't be telling her you love her. And by the way, here's another word of advice. Don't start getting jealous about what she's doing. Let me tell you something. That girl you're dating in high school, the minute she gets to college, she's going to get boned by everybody in sight. Do you understand? Don't be playing that game where you try calling her cell phone on Friday night and there's no answer. And you try it at 8 o'clock and then 9 o'clock and then 10 o'clock and then 11 o'clock and then midnight, 1, 2, 3, and she doesn't answer the phone. And then she calls you back on Saturday afternoon about 4.30. Hey, how you doing? She's out getting boned. Let's not kid ourselves. She may tell you she loves you. And she may tell you she wants to marry you. And she may tell you she wants to be with you forever. And she may tell you that she wants to see you on holidays. 
But when she goes to college, she's as free as you are, and she is going to take advantage of it. You know what? Most of you guys are sad sacks. The girls jump right in and get boned. Let's be honest. Most girls don't feel comfortable going to the movies alone or going to a restaurant alone. And there are going to be much older guys on campus, three, four years older than she is, who are going to say, let's go to a movie. Let's go to Starbucks. Let's go out and have a drink. She's not going to say no. She's not going to say, oh, I have my high school boyfriend, Rufus, and he's going to UCSB, but I'm planning on seeing him at Christmas time. She's not going to say that. She's going to go, she's going to have a drink, and then she's going to go for it. Don't be a fool. Don't be naive. You have to embrace this before she does. Plan on your first semester at college as being your opportunity to bone as many chicks as you can. And believe me, they're going to be there for the taking. They're going to be there for the taking. My job as your professor is to reduce the amount of time, money, and energy you spend on chicks who are not going to put out, who are not going to give you what you want. I'm here to help you avoid relationships, avoid commitment, and most importantly, avoid marriage. My job is to make sure that you get laid with the least amount of friction. You understand what kind of friction I'm talking about? Now, if you have questions for your professor, uh, you can call here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And ladies, uh, if you have a question about how men think or if you disagree with your professor, this is your opportunity to call in and have it out with him in front of the rest of the class. Now, all you have to do is dial. Tom. Like us. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. Me and my buddies go to um, some of the bars around the area, and we purposely engage with the girls in conversation about your show, and they get pissed and they don't like it. So we agree with them, but then once we get done with them, tagging it, we made these little cards with a little stamp that says, you've just been screwed by a 101 student, and we leave them there before we leave. So. <laughs> it's Like His 101 on the Tom Like His Show. Like His 101, 1-800-5-800-TOM. It's Sean on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Um, I don't understand. What What is your problem? Why are you teaching young boys that's going to school to become something better for themselves to go have sex with a whole bunch of women? It's a contradiction of going to school. No, it's really not. I'm not teaching them to be irresponsible about their classes. I'm not teaching them to be irresponsible about their money. I'm teaching them that uh, being in college is an opportunity to tap into the biggest collection of ass they're ever going to see. And it's true. The ass is everywhere. They have a collection right now. And not only that, you're teaching them to be men to be disrespectful to women. How so? Okay. And it, it How so? doesn't make any sense. You have a mom and a sister. You won't want someone to do that to your mom. To and do sister. what? They, women, they have, you teach them to have no morals or anything and losing all hope. How so? You haven't given me any examples. I'm listening. I'm listening for examples. Tell me the examples. The examples of what? Which what? Which part? Of what you're accusing me of? Because just because you didn't have you know a successful marriage with like four women, you just making having guys lose hope of having marriages when they can possibly have just because of maybe one. Why do they need to be married? There's no benefit to a man to be married, regardless of what happened to me. There's a a family. There is no benefit to a man. There's a benefit to the kids. There's a benefit to you, but there's no benefit to a man. None. Yes, it is, and you just just a man can a man can do all the things a man can do all of the things you can do in a marriage without being married. All of them. In a woman, women have standards. You have, you keep saying have, that, but you never give any examples of it. Give me, what do you mean? Give an example of what you said. You just said you that I tell men to disrespect women. In what way do I do that? Oh, okay, how you do that is you telling them to just bang them. That's not I, how you approach a woman. 
You're not telling him any kind of gentleman ways on how to deal we with We are not kids. gentlemen. Being a gentleman, no, no, no. Because most women in this country today are not ladies. They do not deserve to have gentlemen. They are scandalous, and they deserve to be treated as such. Is that because of your bad experience? I don't care what the... Re what? That's a fact. That's a fact. Educated, wonderful women, master's degrees, very successful women. Well, that's and they, and then you take and they and don't need us. People that listen to you. Then and they you don't just, need us. Why? They don't why need why, us. Why we want? We want donate to, sperm and then pay for those little crumb crunchers you want oh to create. My God, why can't we do it together? What happens uh, to togetherness? Why are you so opposed to that? What because when it doesn't work out, the man pays. I, no, that's not necessarily true. Yeah, yeah, but, it generally is. And one out of two marriages ends in divorce. And men get screwed in divorce court. So I'm not going to recommend that men try that. Oh, my God. So you just have no hope. What do you mean? I have no hope. I am the happiest. I am the hap. I live alone. I am the happiest I've ever thing. been in my life. The happiest I've ever been. And I want the guys listening to know that they can be as happy as I am. Okay. Well, what's the common? Who, what's the common number? What's the com commonality in the equation of you getting a divorce? It's you. So you must have the problem, Tom. Huh? No, I don't have a problem. Matter of fact, in each case, it was my idea to end the relationship, not it's the other person's. Idea. Yes. Because of what? I thought they, I thought they were trying to get you. Darling, money. I've gone Why over it? it. Look, if you haven't been paying attention to the show, you know, you act like you know so much about me. I've gone over this many, many times. So many times, I'm not going to bore the audience with it again. Crazy. What? My friend, you have my friend crazy. He talks just like you. I can't believe it. Good. You. Now we see the problem. Now it's be, we find out that it's because you know somebody who's a student here and who's happy being a student here and is happy, by the way, with the results he's getting. No, but he's crazy. He's he gets get anything like that. He gets he's more ass. Alone. He gets more no. ass than a toilet seat. What do you want to do when you're alone in old dirt? <laughs> By the way, getting married you. guarantees you absolutely nothing. One out of two marriages ends in divorce. And I might add, in Southern California, where you and I live, two out of three marriages end in divorce. Well, so uh, getting married guarantees you absolutely nothing in old age. Absolutely nothing. Why, why do you have to focus on the negativity of it? Because what? that's mostly what there is. Because what? Because that's mostly what there is. No, it's not. Oh, yes. Two people that agree and they, they both understand what you Who do agrees with broads? They're insane. Are you kidding me? Are we, who agrees? Women don't save. Women don't invest. Women don't plan. Women spend and spend. They spend men into bankruptcy. Look at that Ed McMahon story. How, how sad is that? Ed McMahon with the American Express bill that's hundreds of thousands of dollars. He had to leave his home. How, how sad is that? That's because you probably pick women that does not have any kind of substance, and they want to do those things. Women that does not have any in. kind of substance, and they does not have any kind of education either. Okay, then why you pick those kind of women to do that to you then? Of By the way, just, do that. just for the benefit of the audience, what university did you attend? Um, University of Phoenix. University of Phoenix, yeah. That's the university mm -hmm. with the 800 number, right? No. Yeah, I, yeah. Got, I have an education. I have my own business, and I'm a real estate agent, and I'm very successful, very fine, and happy with myself. No, mm -hmm. I'm not dating anybody. It's a great right business now because I'm, fo I'm focusing on myself, but I just don't like how you promote just such disrespect with these women to treat these women like this. And I uh, right, and when you've, you've got, got enough like, miles on the like odometer, when, when, when the odometer is about to go over a hundred thousand, you'll try to nail some poor sucker into paying for your baby, no, the one never. that you're going to make I'm him so have with you. Like yes, that. you will. Yes, you will. No, no, I don't need anyone to do anything for me, and I work hard, and I believe there's a lot of hardworking women out there, and they don't do that either. And you're like, keep it up. Men's mind to like if they if they want a relationship, then cut them off at the knees. Cut them off at the knees, right? Because they want because they want more. 
Right? Well, you, more than just sex. I'm not just sex. They want you know, more. I they can go to someone else and get it, for I God's sake. I can sake. be a mother. I can be a good wife. I can be loving. I'm more than just some um, sex. Well, you can, you can be vagina. that for Poindexter. But why would we want to pay for you to be a wife? There's a cost involved. You don't have. It's a it's cost in anything that you're going to be successful. It's a, it's a cost in anything. And if uh, you well, guess what? Chance, if if I don't move you into my place, there's no cost at all. You don't have. To. Okay, well, fine. I'm sorry that you had to have such bad experience to get you to where you. I'm are. having great so experiences today. I am to happy, 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 happy. You don't understand how happy I am today. And that, that is why I am here. That is why I am here on my pulpit spreading the gospel of happiness. I am a happy man. Happiness? Happy. This is because you're bitter. That's no. Why you're, you're I'm happy, happy because I'm rich. I'm happy. I'm rich, happiness. and I'm rich because I didn't give my money to bitches. Because no. <laughs> you're selfish. Oh yes, yes. I should be charitable. I should be giving. So, so, so if I don't let me understand what you just said. If I don't give my money to bitches, I'm selfish. No, 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 no. What I'm saying. Well, that's what I just said. I don't give my money to bitches. And you let money run your life. You let money run your life. First of all, the money runs my life. I just don't want to give it to you. No price on money. It's just I just don't want to give money to you. I don't want to buy your handbags. Great. So Why then you don't need to get married money because money getting married means you get guaranteed it's cash and prizes when things don't do work out for you except buy you material things and things that are not material are the things that has the most. Darling, you darling, you're, you're so with. wrong. You are so wrong about that. But as a woman, you wouldn't understand. You know what money buys you? Do you want to know what money buys you? It, it'll buy you something that's. You want to know what it buys you? You want to know what it buys you? Do you want to know? What does it buy? Among other things, freedom. Freedom? Freedom. No, you can you can not have to have to listen to a mouth you like yours. Within freedom. Yourself concealed within yourself because you haven't not having to upset. listen to you, not having to come home freedom. and have that mouth flapping the minute I walk in the door. I just took crap from my boss all day. I've just driven on the freeway for an hour and a half. I get home, I walk in, and that mouth is going. I don't have to listen to it because I've got money. Now, but, on top of that, here's what else it buys, okay? Oh, little things women never worry about, like health insurance, like it pays for your retirement, like it takes care of things that you don't have to ultimately go to friends and beg, hey, can you lend me $150? I need tires for my car. It, money buys you independence and freedom, and it takes you, care of you why, when you get you old. Why do you go and get women that does these things that you don't even like? Women okay, that does you're, these you're things? Getting, why, why are you Did women you learn that, that grammar at the University of Phoenix? That are not successful for themselves already, or they don't have themselves together, because you know you can't deal with this type Darling, of woman. Darling, most women are not together. Most women are psychotic wrecks. Well, you probably should um, change who you hang around in the events that you go Darling, to. Darling, now I can hang around anybody I want, and I don't have to pay their bills. Do you understand? Don't have to pay for their student loans. Don't have to pay for their car loans. Don't have to buy them a Range Rover every two years. I don't have to pay for anything. Well, you sound, well you, because you sound like you probably have these experiences, so you've been a sucker a couple of times then. No, I haven't. I guess what? Dare, I wouldn't dare ask a guy to buy me anything. Now, if you suggest right. to buy it, you probably Well, then you don't need to, to be married because getting married is a guarantee that you're going to get half of everything he earns. So what do you need marriage for? But see, I don't have a problem with going, I don't have a problem with being a team and, and working as a team player. I have hope. I love I'm a very caring person, so I don't understand what really? is wrong with that. Well, well, you can care and understand all you like. You don't have to sign a contract. Uh, that means that you're married. You can, you can care. I care about people. I'm very understanding. I just haven't signed a contract. What's the point? But what's the point of going from woman to woman, from woman to woman, when they want something more because they have? Because most guys like new meat. Oh my God! What? Well, okay, fine. That's fine. I understand. And when my boys go to college this fall, I want to make sure they don't fall in love with the first vagina they but meet. They need to be focused on books. You hadn't said anything well, about that. Come them. on. Now, have you, you went to college. Well, you went to the University of Phoenix. Which campus did you go to? This is the most crucial Panorama City? Excuse what? me. 
Excuse which, me? Which quote-unquote campus of the University of Phoenix uh, did you attend? Does it really matter? Or the does Internet? It matter that I, I do have an education. Does it, All right, does in a real matter? college, darling, in a real college, where they have a real campus it's a and real stuff? college. It, it, it'll be, it, it, I don't know why you don't think that it is, but education is education. I don't think any, that you should Any college that has, any college that has your, a toll-free number is right not a college, in my view. Attend, uh, to ask you mm. attend University of Phoenix. At real colleges, college, you know, you know UCLA... USC, they've got a campus, they've got social activities, and they've got sororities and fraternities, and the kids who go to school, they're all having a blast when they get to campus. And it's been that way since time immemorial. That's the way it is. And I want the boys, I want the boys, I want the boys when they get to that college campus to get as much pleasure out of being there as they can possibly get. And stop writing letters to your high school sweetheart. And stop thinking you're going to have a long-distance relationship with whoever you were dating when you were 15. It's not going to happen. Whatever. I just Whatever. Just, I don't think you should just just kill any hope that a guy could possibly have just because they're bad. The guy, it's bad not a matter parents. of killing any hope. I'm just saying there's no reason for a guy to get married. There's no it's reason. The girl, as soon as the girl wants something it's no more, benefit. There is no benefit. There is ass. no benefit to a man to get married. No benefit. Yes, it is. They can have a family. You, you know can have a saying? family. Yeah, Darling, I don't know if you've noticed. Down. I don't know I if you've noticed. Up. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, uh, do you happen to be African American, darling? Yes, I am. And what percentage of children are born to African American women where the women are married? What percentage? Where the women are married? Yeah. Mm-hmm. About, thir about 33 percent. It's about 33 percent. Two thirds, two thirds, two thirds of the children born to African American women are born out of wedlock. You do not have to. What I'm saying is, you don't have to be married to have children. Don't you already know that? Way though is what I'm saying. Is that the right way? Even though you don't have to be, but that Oops, doesn't mean the that right it's way. Right. The right. Are you saying two thirds of African American women are wrong? I just think they might have some bad circumstances. Not that they're wrong. I'm sure they don't want well, to be. Well, uh, so they can father. have children without being married. They certainly father. have done it. Probably not because they want the, the things. Not to because be because they didn't want to. Who put a gun to their head to have babies out of wedlock? Who did that? Who put a gun to their head to have babies that they didn't want to have? Who did that? No one. But people have. I mean, you things happen in people's lives. You know what I'm saying? You. Might, well, yeah, no, 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 no. no things don't happen. Going. Most things that happen in people's lives happen because we made them happen to ourselves. But some people don't even know. You know what I'm saying? They're not educated enough to, to make. So the you're right saying decision that, that African American might. women are not educated enough, and that's why they get knocked out. In my mouth, first that what you're saying? Ball, well, what? Is, why are you saying this? They're not educated. Well. I told you that two thirds of the children born to African American women are out of wedlock, and and here you are defending it. I'm not defending it. I'm just saying it doesn't make it. And right you know what? I'm here's my here's my wedlock. point. I'm not attacking it. I'm saying that two thirds of African American women already are having children without marriage. So why do men need to get married? It doesn't make it right. Oh, it's wrong. So they, what Doesn't they're doing is right. wrong. So what yes, they're doing is wrong. is wrong. It's wrong. I think so you, it's wrong. So do you have people in your own family who've done that? No, I might, well, I, of course I do. And what, I, what I have you, have you told them? What they've done have you told them how I've wrong done. they are? Have you gone to them and said, this is wrong, what yes, you're doing? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I do they say? Done it, so, uh, this what do they is, say I'm to that? I'm the one that you're talking to. What do they say to that? What do, the, what do your family members say when you tell them it's wrong? People have made bad decisions, Tom. It's, oh, it's, they I bad see. Bad decisions. You made bad decisions. That's a lot of bad decisions. There, two thirds of all of them. That's a lot of bad decisions. It's a lot of bad. Maybe decisions, it's just too. the way things are now. No, you got. That's where the hope comes in. I'm not that's criticizing it. I'm not criticizing it. Decisions. What I'm saying is, African American women have proven you do not have to be married to have children. Well, they didn't prove nothing. They proved that they had they made a bad mistake. And then wow. the people, you're being awfully then, critical of, of, of your own people. I'm amazed. No, I think that they made that. I don't. Think I I think they've empowered the themselves. They've gone out. They've said, "I don't need a man. I can go out and have a kid without a man." And they've gone out and done it. So uh, if that many women uh, can go out and uh, have children uh, out of wedlock, 
Uh, they've proven marriage is unnecessary, haven't they? No, marriage is very necessary. And really? I don't think that I don't think you should kill anyone's hope of doing that just because of one bad. There's no need to do it. I don't it. think that you should promote a There's guy no need to do having it. sex with another girl and having sex even with protection. Some things happen where it can break or whatever. So you're, you're a virgin. You're having sex so you're a virgin. Are you a virgin? Women. Are you a virgin? I am a year virgin. <laughs> you are what? I'm a virgin for a year. <laughs> no, darling, you're not a virgin. For a year, I am. I, I'm all. I'm renewed. Oh, I'm, that, I am. That, that, no, you're right. So for 15 years, you weren't, and then for uh, the last three months, you have been. I said a year. Yeah, so you, what, yeah, have you gotten through the year yet? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. So how many years were you banging everything in sight? First 15 of all, years? I don't, I don't do that, okay? I don't right. bang everything in sight. Right. I don't do that. How I'm, many I'm men have you had happy. sex with? When did you start? 13, 12? How old were you, you when you had sex for I was every bit of maybe 17 and a half. Uh-huh. And how many guys did you sleep with in the ensuing 11 years? Less than nine. Nine guys in 11 those years. Are, and those are boyfriends. Wow. And I did not get pregnant by either was, one you, of you them. You have an average of a boyfriend every 1.1 years. Wow. What you say? You had a boyfriend every 1.1 years. Well... Okay, whatever you say. I was right. dating. One after another. You're a serial dater. No, I'm not. Shut up. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> One boyfriend <laughs> after another. Whatever. You Nine know, boyfriends in 11 years. My God. You're going to need vaginal reconstruction after all that. <laughs> you know you are hilarious. You probably okay? look like a roast beef sandwich down there. Oh my God! I don't want to hear my friend's mouth. Now I'm gonna, gonna give you a little. You want a little about. horseradish with that, darling? Oh my God! My I am very together. Okay, very together, very clean. Yes. Okay. Yes. You you wish you wish exactly. I wish what? But anyway, but anyway, to get a bite of that sandwich. I'll, all I'm saying is, is that you not be so harsh on women and, and just bash them like you do. I love women. Everyone should own one. Own? Oh, what do you mean own? If you I, mean own, okay, fine then. You, that's actually like a Bible term because if you mean own, then there that's you go. Marriage. You just and call me marriage. Pastor. Just call me Pastor Tom. Oh my God! Okay, I gotta go, Tom, because you—I just got a headache already. You driving me up the wall. You got to have my. That's what you tell all the guys. I don't tell every every guy that I meet actually are actually gentlemen because you know why? That's what I choose to meet. And if you choose to meet women that actually have something, what makes them gentlemen? What makes them gentlemen? Some ass. What makes them gentlemen? Some ass. Then you probably how many makes them gentlemen because because they wait six months to get a bite of the sandwich? No. No, I don't do. I don't play games. I don't play games. I go. Oh, with so you jump right into the sack? Okay, sure that's good. Not. I like that. I sure do not. That's what you do. I do you not. You just said you don't play I games. Have respect for myself, and I demand respect. If All right, so they're person. gentlemen because they wait the six or eight or ten months. You make them wait. No, I do. You don't know what I, I'm not telling you. Why are you? Why are you telling? Why are you trying to say that? You're putting words in my mouth, and I had said that. Okay. No, what do you I say? don't. You don't, are you asking me? Do you want to ask me? I'll ask you, you. Yes, I'm asking you. Okay, well, well, no. Is I that don't. University of Phoenix, by the way? Excuse me? Go ahead, I'm sorry. You need to stop it, okay? You should not down any kind of, any kind of form of education you should promote. If it's um, a junior college, is it, if it's a um, university I pr That's online, why I teach my own course. It. That's this why I teach, I'm a professor and I teach my own course, because I believe in education. Well, you sure don't have housing for your students, do you? <laughs> uh, darling, you got housing for the students right there. You got your own little mini Arby's going on down there. You know what I'm talking about? one 800 800 town one 800 800 Does she know you want to leave? Well, I mean, she senses it every now and then. I get in these moods and uh, let her kind of feel that, you know, I really don't want to be here, you know? Because if she gets that idea, she might get knocked up. Uh, she ain't getting knocked up by me, man. I rolled my gym hat on 24-7. The Tom Likey Show. The 
Tom Likas show at a quarter before the hour. Likas 101, I am your professor. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Jennifer on the Tom Likas show. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, I just have a question for you. I'm actually uh, new to Los Angeles, and I've been listening to you for probably the past month and i'm just you keep bringing up this idea of what people their education level and where they were educated and i'm just wondering what your background is i am a professor of poon uh, i've got a lot of experience here i'm a uh, of course a master debater and a cunning linguist no no, no. Uh, i mean where what university did you attend fordham you attended fordham really yes a- undergraduate at fordham or graduate at fordham undergraduate Okay. And graduate degree, where did you go? I did not go for a graduate degree. I got it at the School of Hard Knocks, darling. Hmm, okay. I'm just wondering if you have some kind of psychology degree or what was your minor? No, I, I, I am an amateur gynecologist and uh, I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers. I'm the only, I am the only uh, board certified uh, state recognized interpreter. I can interpret women into English. And you can I'm, check my credential on that. Okay. You know, it's just interesting to me because I, I don't know if you do know how to have a conversation with an intelligent woman or an intelligent person for that matter. I don't know. Do you know one? On your do you know show? one? Do you know one? I, have, I do. I know many. But really? I also well, I'll tell you, why don't, why don't you have one of them call in? And I'm, I'm just wondering, I thought that perhaps you had some type of degree in psychology because I'm listening to you talk to people and the way that you seem to manipulate conversations. So you're a psychologist, are you? Well, where did you get your it degree? It's astounding to me. And I'm so your degree in psychology is from which university? No, I have, actually have a degree in education. A degree in education? Yeah. I see. And uh, so you are a college professor, are you? No, I'm not a, co- no, I'm not a college professor. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of professor are you? I actually am a teacher. A teacher of what? A teacher of, uh, I'm actually a literacy teacher. You're a literacy teacher. Yes, I see. Yes, I and and what is the age of your students? Um, I I actually have taught students from K to 12. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. primarily they are where? What age? Um, right now I'm working with 7 to 7 to 12. 7, 7 to, 12. to 12 years old? No, 7 to 12 grade, upper uh-huh. school. I see. And I see. I, and you believe you're in a position to judge my credentials? I do. I actually do. Yes, I do have an undergraduate degree, and I actually do have a graduate degree as well. And I'm listening to you talk to the last. Cur- well, that doesn't make you quali- That doesn't make you qualified to comment on my credentials as a professor of Boone. I, I frankly don't think uh, that uh, we're comparing apples and oranges here. The fact, yes, I actually listened to you talk to your last caller and critique about where she happened to go to school. So I was just wondering where you had yes. gone to school and where your degree. Fordham was University. I went to Fordham University. Graduate. Uh, yeah. Well, but guess what? She went to, she, she was undergraduate at a university that has an 800 toll free number and advertises on television. Very familiar, very familiar with, very familiar with Fordham. I actually am from New York. Um, uh, it only so. took three minutes and 11 seconds to get that in. I'm sorry? Uh, everybody from New York uh, feels this uh, unexplainable uh, need to get on the air and, and tell us they're from New York like we're impressed or something, which we're not. No, actually, I didn't say it to you because I wanted to impress because I could really care less whether you're impressed or not. But I was just interested and actually said that because of the fact that you said that you had gone You're not to familiar with Fordham University. You didn't attend Fordham University. You know no more about it than people in Los Angeles would know about it. I'm sorry? I, you heard what I said. No, actually, I didn't hear what you said. And I wouldn't have said I'm sorry if I had heard you the first time. That's I said, I you know, yourself. you have not attended Fordham University, and therefore you know no more about it than the people in Los Angeles would know about it. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. But that's actually not the reason why I called. You're familiar but- with it? Why? Because you've been on the number four train, therefore you're familiar with Fordham University? No, actually, I had a number of professors myself who graduated from Fordham University. That doesn't make you familiar with Fordham University. You have a wonderful gift of, and I'll say it's a gift of trying to sidetrack people in conversations. I'm not trying to sidetrack anybody. Like I answered your question which already. I have to say, which I no, no, wait. You, you, you are trying. You are trying, uh, and and not very successfully, to repeat the same question that I've already answered over and over and over. If this were a courtroom. Uh, the judge would have stopped you a long time ago, and he would have said, "Asked and answered." 
Well, what I would like to ask you is my, my original question is, and I'm just trying to... No, you're not going to ask your original question again. Not going to happen. So you did just exactly what I said you were doing. one 800 800 tom It's like us 101. Lauren, hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Tom. This is my Hi. first time listening to your show. Uh-huh. Um, all my friends in class were talking about you and uh, how great your show is and how much you get laid, so I decided to listen on my way home from school. Yes. And um, you said to call in if we had any questions about the way guys think. Right. So I kind of have a question. I'm not really here to argue with you. just kind of have a question. Um, so I was with somebody, and um, he was seven years older than me, seven or eight. And um, we were together, and I'm a virgin. And um, I, I kind of made it a possibility for us to um, have sexual relations, to have sex. And he kind of was like, no, we're fighting a lot, and we might break up, and I don't want to do that to you. And just pretty much giving me that over and over. No, we're fighting too much. What were you fighting over? Um, just like... Normal stuff, you know, like... What do you consider to be normal fighting? Um, like, mo not money, but, like, we lived so far apart, and he didn't like talking on the phone, and I just wanted to know, like, how his day was going, and he didn't want to talk on the phone, and then, uh, I don't know, he didn't really want me to go out, but I didn't really care. I was going to go out whether I wanted to or not. Pretty much that kind of stuff. Well... Wow. You really didn't have a relationship. There's no sex. Yeah, I guess not. So there was no relationship. Our email address is tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.